teach me how to do this? Yeah. Okay, what do I do? So you get a nice flat stone. Uh huh. Put your finger around it like that, so you're holding it. Because so you're going to be throwing it like this, so it comes off your finger sideways. And skim. Okay. Just like that. Okay. Just going to skim. Okay, ready? Ready. This mm -hmm. one's probably going to go straight in. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. <laughs> that was good. It's a skimmer. <laughs> Here we okay, go. Are you ready? I think I'm ready. This is a really good one. I don't want to wait. It's this. a really good one. Okay. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice and low. <laughs> What's wrong with it? <laughs> you need lots of power. You're going to have it. Yes, yes. There are two. There are definitely two. It's it skimmed. <laughs> Tonight we get to stay in this beautiful old schoolhouse. Uh, it was a schoolhouse in 1909, I believe. Um, we just met the owner, a lovely British man. It's lovely. How quiet. Isn't that crazy? Okay, what are the rules? So rules of teachers, 1915. One, you will not marry during the term of your contract. Two, you are not to keep the company with men. You must be home between the hours of 8 p.m. and 6 a.m. unless attending a school function. You may not loiter downtown in ice cream stores. <laughs> That's a good one. You may not travel beyond the city limits unless you have the permission of the chairman of the board. You may not ride in a carriage or automobile with any man unless he is your father or brother. You may not smoke cigarettes. You may not dress in bright colors. You may know, un under no circumstances dye your hair. You must wear at least two petticoats. Two. Not one, two petticoats. It's the rules for being a teacher. I fail so many of them. They're difficult ones. Mm -hmm. Two petticoats, that's excessive. Where are we going? Okay, we're going to the Waikato Stadium to watch the Lions versus the Chiefs. It's gonna be a tough game. Okay, what's your prediction? God, my my head, my heart. <laughs> my heart says 45-12 to the Lions. Mm -hmm. My head says 28-24 to the Chiefs. Oh, let's hope it's your heart. Yeah, go on, Lions. Black of all time, and um, they're quite proud of him here, aren't they? A little bit. Uh, there's been about <laughs> six signs saying "Home of Colin Meads, Welcome to Meadsville." This is where the Meads are from, and uh, they actually have a sign saying "Colin Meads is in town." So because um, he's he's why is he in town? Because he um, they just erected a statue to him in the town centre. Which is why we're here. Which is why we're here. Because I thought, look, well, look at this. If it's on the way. Medicine. Medicine. If you want to go to pharmacy, get some medicine. <laughs> this is crazy. Pine tree takeaways. He's his nick. His nickname was uh, Pine Tree. Lee Pine said. Tree, yeah. This is Lee's hero, and the fact he knows he's here. This is why he's driving. So oh, there's pictures. Okay, let's pull up and go see the pictures. Little world stuff. This is Lee's Walt Disney. This is the train station, I think. So this is him. This is the man. Collie meads. Collie meads. Great old black old time. I'm, I'm 
sat in the car waiting for Lee. He's doing. He's filling the car with petrol. And it's so weird. Looking out the window, it looks so much like the UK. And considering we we haven't been at, in the UK for a while now, it's been like four years. It's so strange. It's just. I show you. If you're not from the UK, this would be boring. But it's just. You could you could be at home. You wouldn't even know it. Um, if my voice sounds a bit my voice sounds a bit funny this morning, it is because we met up last night with our lovely friends from because we met up with our friends that we made in South Korea when we lived there. Um, two lovely New Zealanders called Jessica and Jacob, and uh, we went out for some Korean soju and makgeolli and beer and more soju, and then we went tasting beer, and uh, oh, I'm paying the price this morning. But today we're off to New Plymouth. I'm so excited to see this volcano. Unfortunately, we were here to see the big volcano, but the weather's not very nice, so it's it's a bit crappy. Yeah, but we're gonna go up the mountains, up Mount Taranaki tomorrow, aren't we? Yes, and then we're gonna drive to Tongariro. Tongariro. Okay. Good night. <laughs> bread capital. Uh, okay, so we turn back round. We just left the bread capital, New Zealand. Bread. <laughs> My favorite. Bread! <laughs> we need to go back right now! <laughs> I didn't see anywhere selling bread though. Like it's the bread capital, but did you see anywhere with like just bread? No. That's fine, isn't it? I want bread. I feel like we're just Do you, do you want me to turn around and see if we can find some bread? Lee knew I was lying when I said no. So now we turned around to come and find bread. We're on the search for bread. It's the bread capital of Bread capital of New Zealand. It was three dollars for a thing like this. And it just had, which has got like what four paninis in it. Oh, that sandwich. That's a real sandwich. We're very excited. They got something warm in here. What's that? Oh, that's a I don't know a pasty. Oh, oh some sort of pasty. It didn't have a name on it, so I just bought it. A sandwich, which looks good. And I've got a coffee, so we're gonna have feast. Bye. Show me your swell face. <laughs> you look, yeah, you look like you're in an advert for Bailey. Yeah, <laughs> I just look like I've got constipation. <laughs> Really nice, it's really lovely, and there's a river and stuff. And behind us is the mountain. Look at the beautiful mountain that we came here for. Oh. Um. Hmm. There's nothing 
out there. <laughs> it's in the cloud, unfortunately. But it's there. So now, by the magic of cinema, I will make a mountain there. Ready? Go. Da -da -da -da. Oh, it's so spectacular. To Wellington! <laughs> <laughs> In New Zealand. I, I mean, saying the ugliest building in New Zealand, I think is generous. That might be the ugliest building in the world. <laughs> wow. Look at it. It looks like a jail. So terrible. Sorry, Wang and Nui. But at least there's no one in it. It's really, I'll just buy it and I'll <laughs> the only Welsh bar in the southern hemisphere. Let's do this. <laughs> okay, where are we? We're in uh, in the Welsh Dragon Bar in Wellington. We are about two hours ahead of the game, <laughs> and it's completely empty in here at the moment. It's <laughs> beautiful. Very Welsh, you know. It's the Welsh place I've ever been. Yeah, it's Welshier than Wales. But what do we have? Brains. On the Wellington Hill? What's, it, what's the name of it? Well, this Botanical is the, the Wellington, yeah, Wellington Botanical Garden. We took the cable car up and now we're here. Have, I, I would. Oh, it's so cute! <laughs> <laughs> 